Should we look at the camera? Yes. Good morning. Today is Monday, November 8th. It is an A day, a great day to be a Bradley Maverick. I'm Ontario. And I'm Satchel. With today's announcements. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now please remain standing for a moment of silence. So, Ontario, what did you think of Friday's PBIS celebration? Well, I thought it was great. I played games in the game room. We had so much fun. So when's the next PBIS celebration? The next PBIS celebration is December 3rd. We only need 40 stands to participate. Cool. I think I can manage that. The book fair starts today and ends Friday. Mavericks, be sure to bring money to shop at the book fair. Remember, a percentage of the sales comes back to the school and you get to read awesome books. That's it for the announcements. Now stay tuned for the, the birthdays and lunch menu. Hi, I'm Alan Gratz, the author of Ground Zero. September 11th was a brilliant fall day in New York City. The sky was bright blue, it was cloudless, the air was crisp. It was a gorgeous day. Ground Zero is the story of the September 11th, 2001 terrorist attacks. It's told from the point of view of two different kids. The first is nine-year-old Brandon. He is in the North Tower of the World Trade Center on September 11th when the first plane hits. He has just gotten into the elevator and he's about 20 floors away from the top of the building when boom, the whole building shakes. A plane has flown into the building just above him and now Brandon has to try and figure out how he is going to survive and see if he can save his dad. The other story that's woven in with Brandon's is that of Reshmina. She is 11 years old, she lives in Afghanistan, and she is suffering through her own version of 9-11 in the present day as her village becomes a battleground between the United States and the Taliban who are still fighting a war in Afghanistan because of what happened on September 11, 2001. For years, young readers have been asking me to write a book about 9-11. The way it impacted me and almost every American that I know it's made 9-11 really difficult to, to think about and talk about and remember. Brandon and Reshmina are two kids who believe they are strong enough to meet any challenge, and they are strong characters. But what they learn is that sometimes the world is too much for you to deal with on your own. And what you have to do is you have to find friends, you have to find allies, you have to come together as a community and overcome challenges together. Everybody remains strong individually, but sometimes we need help. And, and that's really, I think, one of the ultimate messages of Ground Zero is that it's not, it's not me against the world. It's, it's all of us working together to overcome everything that the world can throw at us. Look for my book, Ground Zero, at your Scholastic Book Fair.